Iran has launched its first military satellite. Dr. Brad Tucker and I dive into this. Talking science, story of the week. Across Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts and YouTube, this is Talking Science with Dr. Brad Tucker and Matt Miller. Iran has launched its first military satellite uh, into orbit. This is sort of an escalation of what we were talking about last week with this sort of arms race in space once again. Last week, Russia was launching anti-satellite missile tests. Uh, this week, Iran with their first military satellite. Yeah, look, it's exactly on par with what we were saying. Uh, and saying kind of when Space Force was just starting that this would create a growth. And it's not to say that Iran hasn't been planning this. It takes years to build a rocket and a satellite. But there, there's obviously a push to assert dominance in space and show that these players aren't. And it's not to say this isn't Iran's first satellite launch. It's launched multiple before, but this purely was for a, a the Iran defense military aspect um, in low Earth orbit. And it is part of a growing thing that if control is not established, not of Iran, but of the whole thing, it could get out of control quite quickly. And I think we're starting to see elements of that. This launch uh, has successfully ended a series of setbacks for the nation's space program. So in one way, this is this is a good thing from, from a scientific standpoint, but from this militaristic standpoint, uh, it is quite a large cause for concern. Uh, and I guess the biggest thing as well is that we don't necess- we don't know necessarily what this satellite is all about, what it, what it's going to be up to. Th- that's right. You know, you, you want programs to grow their space. There's lots of reasons why it helps and the infrastructure that's provide helps every day. And, and, you know, space, as we've talked about, is h- hugely important, you know, for instance, things like bushfires and water here in Australia and other places. But, yeah, when, when the focus is on purely military and you, and you don't know what it's doing, and the technology is out there and it's becoming more and more accessible, you do worry about the focus and what's going to happen. And, and as we talked about last week, not the things that are intentional, but also the things that are unintentional, the accidents that may happen in space, the things that go awry, and the conflicts that it then creates here on Earth when there's already conflicts here on Earth. It, it's not to sound alarmist, but it's a growing area that... You know, it, it seemed like this is this out of sight, out of mind thing that people don't necessarily have to worry about, but we kind of do. Well, having said that we don't know what this satellite is, Al Jazeera did report uh, that it's a military reconnaissance satellite, which can carry a, a whole gamut of, of uh, mission parameters, I guess. So yeah, it's, it, it really is. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly wide term for just <laughs> something that does something looking at the ground, something, something, something. <laughs> it, 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 it's kind of like a, a, a you know, the, the fill your own adventure stories here. Yes. That's what these reconnaissance means. You, you can really put anything in it and you can do it. Thank you.